Fossil Hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ash Abigail here and I am back out at one of my favorite spots to fossil hunt. I've had an incredible day so come along let's see all the crazy fossils that I found and I'll catch you at the end of the video. All right one of the first film worthy finds of the day. Got a pretty robust dorsal spine off of a billfish vertebra. The tide is going out and check out what it's uncovering. Some really gorgeous teeth. This one is a lower snaggle tooth. Yep, has his serrations. And he has a few bonus barnacles. Okay. I haven't moved from that snaggle tooth that I just found. Well, you remember I was really excited about that dorsal spine. Look at this one. That thing is massive. It is so large. It has, <laughs> it's been growing some seaweed or some sea lettuce on it. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. I almost hate to take it home because it will, mean that that sea lettuce unfortunately doesn't have its home but look at this fossil that is too cool uh, if i had a saltwater aquarium i would take this back and put it in there but unfortunately sea lettuce you're going to have to stay here we've got a triple play right here we've got this angustidens which unfortunately has a little damage on that but it could be feeding damage from when this shark was alive. Over here, pretty unusual for this site. That's a great white shark tooth. Really beautiful thin blade. And right here, there's a little snaggle tooth and actually there's a reef shark. So not a bad stop. Have another angustidens. It's a little water worn, but there's enough there to tell that this is a dolphin lumbar vertebra. Even had some oysters starting to grow on him, too. I really love when days like today have. Uh, low light angle and super clear visibility in the water because you're actually able to see teeth like this that are not yet uncovered. Look at this sand tiger. Wow. Both cleft splits still there. dolphin vertebra number two for the day. This one is going to be a thoracic vertebra where the ribs articulate to the spine. Check out this guy standing on edge. Okay, cool. He's all there. Nice precursor to the modern great white shark, Carcharodon hostalis. Here's a pretty rare fossil from the Idiocene epic. Anyone knows what type of fossil this is, let me know. Look at this massive piece of sea turtle shell. That is a really large costal element, which is the rib, anatomically speaking, of the sea turtle. Awesome, this is going to probably be from Carolina Keeleys, which was about a medium-sized sea turtle that lived here 30 million years ago. All right, we got another tooth hiding under the water. Anybody see it? It's right there. Another extinct great white. Right. I've been on a little bit of a dry spell, so this helps pick things up here right at low tide. 
This is what I've been waiting for with clear water like this. Oh man, it was almost all there. Nice little Angustodons, bit of tip damage and missing one cusplet. But it's worth braving the cold water, probably in the 50s today. All right, beautiful. Well, if the last tooth was great, then this one is the trip maker. Check this out. I never get the opportunity to hunt under the water like this at this site. And boom. Oh man, he is covered in barnacles. So it probably indicates he was sitting like this for a long time to allow those barnacles to grow. You wouldn't be able to recognize that that's a tooth. Wow. Well, I'll get this guy cleaned up when I get home and put some cleaned up photos in this video. But that makes sticking my hand in the cold water worth it. Okay, it's a little murky, but there's one right there. It's going to either be a big sand tiger, oh gosh, it's cold, or a mako. Let's see. Oh yeah, sand tiger. Look at those little lacy bryozoan covering it. All right, we'll clean him up as well. You know what? I think I might just make a separate video on uh, cleaning fossils from saltwater deposits because you get that question a lot. How do you clean your fossils? So this guy and some of the others that have barnacles and bryozoan will be good examples to show that process. It just keeps getting better and better. Look at this Angustodens. Has some really beautiful color. Let's see, is he all there? Ah, not quite. But still a beautiful tooth. I love that color, that blue, those reds, and then the tan. As promised, here are some closer looks at those fossils that were completely covered with barnacles and bryozoan. As you can see on the Sangustodons, it is absolutely covered. You can't see a single trace of the original fossil. Likewise, on the sand tiger, it isn't as covered, but there are still bryozoan covering the surface and barnacles on the other side, like you can see there where it is absolutely covered. And here's what they look like all cleaned up. On that Angustodens, there was a really cool pathology there in the blade that was uncovered, where you can see it kind of pinches in a little bit. We talk about that a little more in depth on that cleaning video. Also on this Angustodens, there's a bite mark and a very nice clean sand tiger there as well. And then the bonus barnacles were removed from this snaggletooth. Again, if you would like to check out that cleaning video, it is pretty fascinating to watch all of those barnacles and bryozoan be removed from the various fossils. We look at the details of that process for acid cleaning fossils in that video, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse at collecting fossils under the water. A quick reminder, if you're in the state of South Carolina and you want to collect fossils underwater, you do need a hobby diving license to do so. Uh, so I will leave a link for that application in the description below. Uh, so just make sure you are licensed to collect under the water. Thanks so much, guys, and happy hunting. Thank you.